Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video will be on uterine inversion. Uterine inversion is defined as the descent of the uterine fundus into the cavity through the cervix or even through the vulva. And the incidence is 1 in 2000 deliveries. For classification, there are four degrees of uterine inversion. The first degree is when the inverted fundus is up to the cervix. Second degree is the body of the uterus protrudes through the cervix into the vagina. This second degree type is the most common type of uterine inversion. Third degree is uncommon, where there is prolapse of the inverted uterus outside the vulva. And fourth degree is prolapse of inverted uterus and also the vagina. The causes of uterine inversion can be due to mismanagement of the third stage of labor, excessive cord traction, especially with an unseparated placenta, or due to excessive fundal pressure. Other causes include placenta equita, congenital predisposition, and also fundal implantation of placenta. The clinical features include severe abdominal pain in the third stage, postpartum hemorrhage, hypotension and bradycardia, where the degree of shock may be inconsistent depending on the amount of blood loss. Absence of uterine fundus or depression over the fundus. And other features include fleshy mass at or outside the introitus, where there is presence of dark red-blue bleeding mass. For management of uterine inversion, it requires prompt recognition and treatment. Suspect for uterine inversion if there is profound shock without obvious explanation. Treat the vessel vagal shock by assessing the airway breathing and circulation. IV assess and also group cross match. The placenta should not be detached until the uterus is replaced and contracted. So the management is to replace the uterus immediately, either through manual or hydrostatic replacement, or even surgical replacement, and it may require tocolytics, anesthesia, or both. So I'll talk a bit on the manual replacement of the uterus. So we'll replace the uterus by pressing first on the part of the uterus which inverted last. And after replacing the uterus, keep the hand inside the uterus until the ergometrine or oxytocin has produced a firm contraction. This is a picture of a manual replacement of uterus. There is also the hydrostatic method called all soliv solivans hydrostatic method, where the tube is passed into the posterior fornix, the assistant closed valve around the operator's wrist, and worm saline is run in until the pressure gradually restores the position of the uterus. Another method is through surgical replacement of the uterus, shown in the pictures here. So that's all for this video, thank you.